going on YouTube? It's Casual706 here back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers Titans Return Leader Class Sky Shadow. Now a couple of things I wanted to mention real quick at the start of the video. Uh, first of all, tomorrow is August 21st, 2017. We're having a huge total solar eclipse. Now on my channel, I will be attempting to have live coverage of the solar eclipse here in Georgia. As you see, I got my glasses here that I had to pay an arm and a leg for to get. These guys are scalping these glasses everywhere around the area, trying to take advantage of poor people who want to see the solar eclipse, but don't have the proper equipment. So I got my solar eclipse glasses here and a fitting review for the subject. Uh, since the sky will be dark, we're reviewing Sky Shadow. Yeah, alright. You guys don't laugh too hard at that joke. So I will be trying to cover that uh, total eclipse for you guys tomorrow. Tune into my channel. It'll probably be a live stream so that you'll be able to see that. I'm going to go ahead and put my glasses off to the side so I don't mess them up since they cost so much. And one other, one other thing I wanted to mention real quick. Uh, about my giveaway contest that was featured in the Trypticon video. This is a legitimate uh, contest, so be sure to comment on my videos to gain entry into this contest. Uh, here I have listed are all the people that have entered into the contest. Uh, as I mentioned, each comment gets you an entry into the contest, so I have multiple entries from a couple of different people. There's not many entries in, so you guys have a really good chance to go ahead and start commenting and get your entries in so that you can win my giveaway there. All right, I'm put that off to the side. The, the winner will be announced September 15th of 2017. So stay tuned to my channel to find out who's going to win that giveaway there. All right, now <clears throat> on to the main review itself. Uh, as we see here, we got Sky Shadow in the box. I may have... I've got a little bit different sky shadow from everybody else i don't know if you notice right here on the chest there is a sticker that reads nine nine one u five one or or something so i guess one of the quality control guys forgot to take the sticker off of my toy when he put it into the package uh, i've had this toy for a couple of months now in the box i thought it was kind of funny that it had the sticker and it was worth mentioning uh, to anybody it's just a little piece of a white masking tape kind of there so figured I'd mention that real quick now looking at the actual box itself here we've got an artistic depiction of ominous popping off of sky shadow there this is a headmaster figure we've got uh, four different modes for him I guess he's gonna have a base mode a tank mode airplane mode and then his combined robot mode right down here we have ages 8 plus in three different languages Hasbro logo, Transformers going up the side, and we got the Generations logo on the top right hand corner. On the top of the box, we got a Decepticon symbol. On the side of the box, we have a little bit larger depiction of Ominous popping off of Sky Shadow there. Really nice artwork. I love the color scheme with this guy. The black, gray, and white really looks cool. On uh, this side of the package here, we got a Decepticon symbol. And around to the back, we have the product shot showing him in a robot mode. There's his airplane mode, his tank mode, and his base mode. So this is going to take about 18 steps to change him around through all the different modes. And Ominous here is going to take one step. All you do is fold the legs over in the, their robots. Now on the right hand side of the package here, we got a couple of other product placement shots. Uh, we got Leader Class 6 shot right here we have voyager class broadside deluxe class top spin and then we have the titan master class uh, shuffler and right here they're just showing that the titan masters uh, like the shuffler here are interchangeable with the three different classes of titans return figures right here you got deluxe class you got voyager class and then you got leader class all of which will be able to use the same titan master figures all right now in the top left hand corner we got a real quick bio on this guy uh, the bio reads, Sky Shadow is a thief who sells his skills to the highest bidder. Ominous is the ultimate hacker. He can access the security systems of battle stations, space bridges, and even other bots. Together, the universe is theirs to raid. So, a power combo, those two guys. 
All right, so since we took a look at the packaging, we're gonna go ahead and bust this open, take a look at the actual figure inside. Now, upon opening the toy, we get a couple of familiar sights. We get these art cards. Uh, this, again, is just showing Ominous popping off of Sky Shadow right there. Really nice artwork, by the way. And around to the back, we have stats like we used to have with the old G1 figures. Uh, says this guy is going to have a strength of 9. His speed is going to be almost 10, probably like 9.8. His intelligence is going to be 13.8, since it's not 14. And firepower is going to be 9. All right, so I usually tuck these off to the side so I don't lose them. Now, this guy is also coming with instructions to show how to transform him from his airplane and tank mode to robot to his base mode. And these instructions are dual-sided, so here's the other side of those for you. All right. Now, with instructions out of the way, we'll take a look at the actual figure itself. We'll bring it a little closer here for you to take a peek. There's that uh, sticker I was mentioning earlier. At some point in this review, I'm going to take that off. I just thought it was funny that they left it on there, so I'm going to leave it as much as possible. Uh, real nice figure. He's got an awesome color scheme. As I mentioned, I love the black, gray, and red. It looks really cool. I'm going to spin them around to the back here. Let's look at the back of the figure. There's the jet and there's the tank stuff going on there. And spin them around to this side. There we go. All right, now he also does come packaged with these two little things here. Now this is actually like the, the tip of the airplane or something. And I think it can be displayed as a shield. And then of course he's got this blaster. It's a really big gun there. We've got the red red paint silver paint and black there should match in nicely and uh, the weapons will be displayable in his hand it's just a little five millimeter peg there so you can put it in his hand then he's also got these little pegs on the side of his arm so if you wanted to you could do like megatron and have a little side arm cannon like that there now this uh in most other reviews and pictures i've seen kind of like as a shield here so that's really what these things are for you kind of just peg it into the side there and and use it as a shield there or some kind of extension of his arm or something or other so that's usually how they have them there <clears throat> all right so we looked at the weapons we're going to take a look at this guy's articulation put these weapons off to the side for the meantime here all right, now articulation-wise with this guy, uh, up at the head, you are going to be able to get a full rotation around there. Uh, this is one of those little helmet deals, kind of like uh, like six-shot head. So, now at the uh, arms, if you get these wings turned to the back here, you will be able to get a full rotation out of that arm. There's also a swivel joint right at the bicep. You have to be careful about that there. But you'll be able to swing that all the way around, and then he's also going to have an elbow bend. Other arm, same scenario, as long as that wing is out of the way, you're going to be able to rotate that around all the way. Yeah, the bicep, he's got that swivel joint again, so you'll be able to spin that around. Uh, you'll have to mine that, though. And he'll have the elbow joint. Now, the hands aren't articulated at all. They're just pre-mold hands that are kind of balled up already with the little 5 millimeter pegs in the center. Now, at the legs, you plan with it, you can kind of rotate, and you got that ball joint right there at the hip, so you can kind of, I don't believe you'll get a full, uh, actually you can, if you play with it, you can kind of get a, get a full rotation out of that ball joint, though I think it's a bad idea to do so, it's really hard to get into there to change it to move that around now there's also a little swivel joint right there at the the high thigh that you'll be able to rotate that around there and he's going to have that knee bend now down at the feet this little panel here moves and then that moves sideways so you can get some kind of ankle tilty kind of poses there so you can get some real cool poses over at the other leg, same thing. That ball joint, if you play with it and keep your finger aligned, you can spin it all the way around, but I don't advise it. 
at that high thigh again. You'll be able to rotate that around on that swivel joint. And he's also got that knee joint. And then this foot has that ankle tilt again like that. And it also has that little back, back heel spur that can bend down like that. So as mentioned, you can get some pretty dynamic poses out of it. I love the little ankle tilts. You can get some wide leg poses with this guy. All right, now I'm gonna pop off the Titan Master figure so we can take a look at that. Really nice, uh, really nice sculpt on that, that right there for Sky Shadow. That's what you get as far as a face for him. Nice silver face, yellow, pretty good paint job on that. I can't complain at all. So it looks really cool. Though it looks a lot better with the helmet on the, the actual figure because it gives it those little side flares. And then transform this guy, all you do is just flip the legs out there, and that's what you're going to get. Just a black and two tones of gray figure, silver belly button, articulation with these guys, arms are going to be able to go up like that, and you'll kind of be able to get seating poses because he's got little hip pins and knee pins there. So that's going to cover Ominous. All right, now I'm actually going to just kind of tuck the Titan Master off to the side here real quick. I won't need it for the transformation with this guy. So we have the headless sky shadow for the moment with the open helmet there. <laughs> We're going to take these hands here. I'm going to go ahead and fold them into the forearm. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. Fold it into the forearm there. All right, after folding those fists into the forearms, we're going to go ahead and pop this loose. Now this top section here is going to become the airplane and then the bottom section here is going to become the tank. So it's a combiner of some sort. Then the arm is going to push up onto itself here, just like that. Same thing on the other arm, we're going to flip that fist into the forearm. We're going to push that arm into there. Make sure we get these to the side here. Now that helmet, I believe I'm going to go ahead and rotate it around to the back here. <clears throat> then we're going to bring up this front section of the airplane here, just right over the, that helmet there. Now this little tab here is going to fold open to kind of help to kind of hide that helmet there. And at the wings here, you got a little hole tab here and a little straight tab and right on the arm if you see. You got the straight tab, and then we got the little hole tab there. It's going to line right up with the wings and pin them into place. Same thing on the other arm. Just give it a good old squeeze to pin it together. Now these little panels here are going to lift up like this, and you're going to just push them to the back like that. Same thing on this arm. Lift it up and push it to the back here like that. Just kind of making the jet mode a little bigger. And then you can fan these things up here and the little tail fin at the end, you bring it up. So that's what you get there with the airplane mode. It's a little darker, so I hope you can see well. But that's going to be the airplane mode there with Sky Shadow. Now these little blasters here do go off to the side so he could kind of shoot people on his flank, I guess. Like that. So. That's what you get there, jet wise. That's the bottom of the figure. You can tell it's just a cut off robot, basically. So that's what you get there, jet mode with that guy. All right, now we're gonna come around to the bottom section of the toy, which is also the tank mode here. So first thing we're gonna do with the legs here is we're gonna fold these little back heel spurs together. Then we're gonna fold this down to the front here and that down to the front. It's kind of on a double hinge here. So you just get it to line up there. You can already kind of see the tank mode starting to form there. All right. Now down here on the back side of it, these should come out. Yep. So you're just going to reach in, there's a little spot right here, you kind of dig your fingernail into, you'll be able to get that to come out. And they're just going to flip around to the top side here, like if you see what I'm doing. 
they were underneath like that. So we're just gonna flip them over and there you see your little tank turret there. So that should all kind of tab together here, give her a good old squeeze. So there's that. And then you're just gonna take the, take the legs here. This right here, once you've, once you've got your turrets lined up and everything like that, you're gonna take this and fold it underneath here, like that. And you end up with all of that. Now all of this should tab together here and squeeze, give it a good old squeeze, like that. And there is your little tank there. Now to officially make it a tank, you take his blaster and a little tab hole right here in the front, just peg that in. So there you get your tank mode. Now the tank does not have a working turret, so you're not gonna be able to turn that around or anything. It's got two nice silver Decepticon symbols there. Got Still got the same. So there. And there is a little, two little wheels down on the back here. So the tank does roll pretty nicely here. All right, now worth mentioning on both of these vehicle modes, uh, they have compartments to keep the little Titan Master in. You can open those up here. It's just right on the cockpit of the jet and it's also on the little turn of the tank. And what you can do is you can take Ominous and open them up here and you can seat him inside the tank like that and then close the door up on him or you can take him out and we can put him in the jet here so he can fly or he can be in the jet and that door will also close up on him there like that so that's your options for displaying the titan master in the vehicle modes all right now the last mode for this guy is going to be his base mode Oh, actually, I forgot to, to mention, too, with the jet mode here, this little shield thing that we had before. You uh, should be able to, yep, this little tab thing right here, little gray thing, should match up with this right here. You can attach it to the front of the spaceship here like that. Kind of giving it a little extended nose. I'm not especially fond of how that looks though, so if I was to do the jet mode, I don't believe I'd use that for the jet mode. So, put that back off to the side again. And we're gonna go ahead and do this guy's base mode for you. To uh, do the base mode, we're gonna do like that. Fold arms up. Then it looks as though we're gonna flip these around to the back side here like that. All right, it looks like we're gonna lay him down here to do this. So that's what we end up with there. Flip these two little heel spurs up. Then we're gonna flip these back down again like that. And we bring them off to the sides. Off to the side there like that. You gotta kind of play with the positioning of the legs, but you wanna get it, you wanna get it like this. So there you go, you got that there. So we do like that. So right here, and then we're gonna take this little thing again and tab it up there on top like that. Then you take the little blaster and we're gonna put it, whoop, that should be like that. And take the little blaster, put it right there. And that's what they're calling their base mode. Now you should be able to attach this with other Titan class figures like Trypticon or Metroplex. Uh, there should be like little panels on here that connect to it. I don't actually have Trypticon or Metroplex with me, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. Uh, spinning it around, taking a look at the base mode. Nah, I'm not really fond of the base mode at all. It's not very thought out at all. But there are a couple of places to display your Titan Master figures here. Throughout the figure here, you've got little tabs all around on it that you can stand the Titan Master figures on. You can't put it there. There's no tabs behind the cannon. That would have been a prime place. But you got little tabs on a leg and stuff. 
This base mode is really just a hot mess. It's all just kind of thrown together. A, a, a made up mode by Hasbro. Not fond of it at all. So, anywho. That's all the modes for this guy. Uh, love the robot mode, love the jet, love the tank. Don't really care for the base mode as much. So, but that'll conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers Titans Return Leader Class Sky Shadow. You guys be sure to stay tuned to my channel tomorrow to catch the solar eclipse if you're not able to do it in your region. Uh, also, comment on my videos so that you have a chance to win my giveaway that will be announced on September 15th, 2017. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell notification icon so you know every time I put a video up, and please leave me comments and let me know if I'm doing a good job. Alright? So with all of that said, I appreciate the view again, guys. Casual 706, out.